is doing? Today we are packing for a week-long summer vacation out of the country. It's my first time out of the country besides when I went to like Mexico when I was like five years old. Does that even count? Probably not. We're going to Dubrovnik, Croatia, and I am thrilled right now as I'm packing. I cannot wait to leave tomorrow, and I'm so excited to be somewhere that is not in the United States. Me and Hunter pack in very different ways. Hunter's calculating the days and nights that were there, speculating every single outfit, and setting them neatly on the couch to see what those outfits would look like before even considering to pack them in the suitcase. What? Whereas I'm just in the closet grabbing every single article of clothing that I like and might possibly wear, even though I'm gonna wear 35% of it in the end. White girls tour shirts right here, do you want it? Yeah. This trip, me and Hunter are sharing my giant white suitcase. So it should be a bit more interesting this time around. You're not really. Okay. 49. 56. What? Our bag is six pounds overweight. 49.3. 49? We rearranged some things and got it down to 49. How did we get it down that much? I'm really good at my job. I need to add this sticker to my suitcase collection. Oh yeah. This evening I'm making sure that everything is ready to go. My AirPods are dead. We're about to take a six hour flight to New York and then a nine hour flight to Croatia. We're all packed and ready to go. And we have to get up early because we have to leave to the airport at six in the morning. Long travel day tomorrow. Longest travel day I've ever had before. I'm feeling excited though. I'm ready to embark on this journey. Hunter's sitting in the bathroom. And I still haven't finished my Red Bull. Don't worry, I'll still be able to fall asleep. They don't affect me. also known as the worst airport on earth. But we're going in a different terminal today because we're going international. I don't think I've ever enjoyed LAX as much in my entire life. It has been so empty today. So not like normal. And we're not in the normal terminal. Like what? This is incredible. Waiting for Hunter at the bathroom. Nothing new. Nothing new. There's our plane. This international terminal is so empty. I'm freaked out. Okay, I just confirmed that our chauffeur is gonna be waiting for us at the arrivals hall when we get to Dubrovnik with our names on the board. So when we walk up, we'll see them. We'll be holding <laughs> Walter. This airplane that we're going on is massive. I've never been on an airplane before where there's a giant middle section. Are you right here?
We land in New York City, and Hunter immediately wants to go to the Centurion Lounge. What is this called? Is this the Centurion Lounge? The Centurion? Yeah. Jesus. I thought that the Delta Sky Club was fancy. <laughs> but after walking into the Centurion Lounge, I was a whole different person. We accidentally ate in the family section where we were not allowed to. So we moved across the hall. I don't know what this is, but it's cold and it looks like yogurty, like a little parfait moment. So I'm gonna try it. Oh. Very interesting. I don't hate it, but I don't know if I love it. Very intriguing. I want to eat more though. Like it's kind of good. I just took a bite out of this cookie, expecting like, not mediocre, but just like average, you know? This is like homemade next level like shit. It's like this is good. Oh my god. I walk into the Centurion Lounge restroom thinking that I could take a nice quick shit before our nine hour flight. Because I'm not shitting on a plane. There is still piss in the toilet bowl. We're in the fucking Centurion Lounge. Where's the class? It was all over the seat. I was disgusted. Then I walked over to the next stall and it was clean and I happily took my shit there. Bye. We're about to board. We're waiting till the end though. A nine hour flight. When we land it will be 11 in the morning and it is 7 p.m. 11 a.m. in Croatia is, what did I say? 11. 2 a.m. in LA. Long flight. I've never experienced real free food on a flight either. When they handed me the cookie dough Ben and Jerry's, I almost passed out in my seat. We walk towards customs and it is packed full. We're still like two levels up and I can just look down and see thousands of people just maneuvering to get through customs. And at this point we're like completely exhausted. First trip through customs only, only took about two hours. For the first time in my life, I'm about to get my own personal driver holding my name up on a sign. Well, except the sign actually says Hunter's name. But, but I'm... Balcony. Oh wow, this is great. A lot of balcony room. Pool is amazing. It's also very hot out. It's very sweaty. I want to go walk on that thing like the little child. Ocean view, bitch. There's a tennis court. How fun. What the fuck? It's time to shower because we feel gross. And then it's probably nap time.
We took a nap. Very long one. It's 8 o'clock now. Beautiful sunset. Pool's empty. And now we're going to the supermarket because they close at 9. So we need to get some stuff, including some plug adapters because we forgot that the plugs are different here. And all of our chargers, besides USBs, are not going to work. I want to play tennis. It looks so pretty. Those are got Croatian cash. The Kuna. Kuna. Madara. <laughs> After our nap and grocery shopping needs were fulfilled, we wanted to find a place to eat. So we start kind of browsing the area, looking around. I almost just got murdered by a biker. We end up at this little bar restaurant on the boardwalk right behind our resort. They're playing the EDM jams. I feel like I'm in elite and vibes are great. Holy shit, that's delicious. Oh, that's cool. We can probably see that from another Looks way cool in person. Looks good. Yeah. This pizza tastes so fresh and like natural. So good. Demolished. <laughs> <laughs> I all of mine and two of his. It's right. So. They just they just need some sauce. The pizza was probably one of the best I've ever. Pizza had. was amazing. They strike some pizza. Ten out of ten. For sure. Like America sucks. <laughs> cold? Pretty. It's so weird that there's just like no way. That's two in a row, I usually can't skip rocks. These rocks are really good for skipping. That's the six times. What? Six. Did I tell you about the time I threw a rock at my grandpa's head skipping rocks? Do you guys have an adapter, a power adapter for US? Perfect, thank you. Got the adapters. So now I can charge my camera battery and I actually film this week. It's a win-win situation. Wow. I can't wait to bring you to Amsterdam. That thing is just fucking nuts. As Hunter, I'm going to enjoy the balcony. It's very hot out. It's 84 right now. And it's not even 11 a.m. At 11.40 a.m., the driver's going to come pick us up and take us to Old Town and the city. And we're going to spend all day there. He slept over 12 hours last night. So I feel like I'm caught up on missed sleep hours. We made a little sink, not sink, fridge in the sink. Because this, what we thought is a fridge, is not a fridge. It's basically just a food store. And we got a bunch of cheese and crackers and things that needed to be cooled, so. We got ice and made our own fridge. I don't know what to wear today. Probably just like one of these button ups. Maybe this one.
Today we're spending the entire day in Old Town, which is basically just the heart of Dubrovnik. I have no idea really what to expect. Birds, bells, cats, cute little shops everywhere. Where's the basketball? Let's go. I'm gonna shoot some hoops. walking in this heat, our backs are fully covered in sweat. So we found one of the many gelato places to try and cool ourselves down. Oh yeah, the raspberry is really good. And the mango. Everyone smokes here, but it's in a very like Sarah Paulson type of way. The fact that people live here is so cool. We continue exploring and we find a sign. Cold drinks with the most beautiful view. <laughs> I'm sold. Got me a cold drink. I'm very down for cold drinks. Pretty good view too. <laughs> And a lot of them actually, they're pretty good. I don't know what size 2 means. I call it. All the ones I want to buy are kid sizes, which means they're aimed at children. Yeah, everyone like is jumping on it. Should we jump on it? Yay! Jumped on it. We're taking a cable car to go all the way up there. All these little bikes. We're walking so much today in this mid-July heat. We are seconds away from just melting into the ground. What are the Luca bikes called? I forgot. Vespas. 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 that you could see in the cable car aside, they start playing Dua Lipa. <laughs> which is making just the whole experience 20 times better.
I'm dying so much of heat that while Hunter's checking out in this little gift shop, I'm just standing right next to the fan, getting as much cold air as I can possibly get before stepping out in the sizzling heat again. Oh my god, they have side by side. This Loki just looks like Utah right here. In California. <laughs> when we were landing, I was looking out the window, I was like, it just looks like California. Oh, we have two preserved things. Here we have Croatia. To the left over here we have Utah in the United States. They're actually very close together. Jesus. Me jumping on you? Oh yeah, those are good. Oh yeah, I really like those actually. Really good. Yeah, let's go eat. I really want to go in the water. We should go home. And swim? Yeah. Eat first. Oh wow. I'm glad I wore the shirt though, not a t-shirt. Very sweaty. Didn't trip that time. Lunch time. Before we leave Old Town, we want to try one of these local good restaurants that are scattered all across Old Town. I'm wanting the aesthetic restaurant in the European alleyway with great views. You know what I'm talking about. And we find the perfect one, and it's literally empty. We don't know if this place is open. <laughs> We're like, is this place closed? Yeah. They're open? This place. It was open, thank god. Guac murder. showed up, the crowd started to gather. We're kind of the blueprint in this restaurant's business today. Should I get us more ketchup? Up? This guac -a burger Really good. I have never seen a more perfect looking burger in my entire life. Oh my god. Good? <clears throat> it's like a real burger. Yeah, they're big. It tasted exactly how it looked. For real though, it tastes like so much more like butter. Not like shit. That's why basic things like pizza taste so good too. Yeah. Like it just tastes like because the cheese isn't processed. They start playing selfie by the chain smokers. I am just living my best life. Everyone's recording this cat. Does not give a slight fuck. Waiting for our Uber. I felt the urge to talk like Florence Pugh and Black Widow all day. Uber. It's so hot, you guys. Bye, old town. You were a blast. Oh, is this it? Are we here? Thank you. Did the whole thing, didn't they? How does it cool look? Um, 
kind of. Also not, like it's pretty open down there. It's been a long adventurous day. It's time for some relaxation, some pina coladas in some lounge chairs, sip sip. I'm ready to go. Thank you. Is that just like a burnt lunch? Ooh, the rock's so nice. Oh, well, well. I'm a little bitch when it comes to the water. It's quite cold. Poor little bee. We decided to stick to the relaxation theme of the rest of the night and order room service. The perfect pour. Was it not or did it spill? Nope, it didn't. I mean, you were a flight attendant at one point in time. Now I'm just rich. <laughs> I love their use of mayo as a dip here. <laughs> like what? We took our steak sandwiches to the balcony and had dinner with a view. Dinner is sea, bitch. <laughs> we like that looks really strong. It's funny because I usually don't like seven up, but like this seven up. To me. Ooh, spicy. Oh god, it probably goes on the sandwich. Not on my sandwich. That's interesting. Oh, that is interesting. Not too much though. My boy's working hard. Oh yeah, that's good. I had to drink my 7 up. Super sad. What do you make? Coco. Oh yeah. to the rocky beach bright and early this morning to chillax for a few hours.
Oh, I need the goggles. I came back up to the room I to get my AirPods to take your piss. And now we find goggles. Found them. One point games. <laughs> It feels slightly tight. Hunter just said it's freezing. I don't know if I can deal with this. I can do it. Okay. I'm going in. There's salt in my eyes. I feel like I could take a long nap now. Really? Yeah. My arms are tired. That was a blast. Let's show what about the iPad down. Do some work before work. So technically, we are in Mamma Mia. True. going in again. How do you open? Oh. Interesting. Very. They're in like two separate... Hmm. These are like crunchier than the normal. Yeah. I'm right. Oh, they went shopping at H&M. After relaxing, what's better than going shopping for clothes? Not, not a lot of things. Not a lot of things are better than that. These are the glasses I want. They're similar to the ones I have, but this one has a gray middle piece. Mine just connects all the way. Very big difference. These clothes are so cheap that I'm having an aneurysm inside. Wait, what's the front? Oh my god, might need. This H&M is not like the other girls. I kind of want these off-brand Converse. Do you have one for them? I'm tempted right now to buy quite literally every single item in this store. A dollar fifty? Like what? Everything is so cheap. I love. Like these ones? Like these are only ten dollars. This is only ten dollars. It's like oversized. Like I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna have to do that. I need to chill out though. I cannot get everything in the store. It's only ten dollars. I'll steal like two of them. Jeez. Kinda like that. Those are the exact ones. Yeah. Oh, they're so short on me right now. Can I see what size you are? Medium. Yeah. Should we get a black pair? Yeah, get it. Bye. Bye. We somehow got through H&M without going bankrupt. And I'm trying to find a waterproof zippy case for my phone so I can take it out to sea. We're not finding it anywhere. I have to accept that my dreams are being crushed.
We're back from the mall. Let's we'll try my new sunglasses on. I literally didn't try them on at the store. Might be a bad idea. What if I just hate how they look on my face? These glasses were literally $3.92. If I got these exact same glasses in H&M in America, these would be $20 or 15 plus tax. It's $3.92 with tax added. That's just bizarre to me. I can't get this off. These are what I've been looking for. All I could find were these, which they're both fine, but I wanted the ones with at in the middle, not like full. I'm sorry to these glasses. Like, you've been great for the month that I've had you. Mm -hmm. It's almost two o'clock. It's almost time for lunch. So we're going to get in our sink or fridge and we're going to make ourselves a little cheese platter. And then Hunter has to go to work at three o'clock till 11 o'clock. How was that? Sounds um, good. And you said we didn't eat anything. That's a lie. I had six chips at the beach. So, <laughs> joke's on you. Anyanas. Anyanas. It's Dutch. I don't know what they speak here, but it's the same. It means pineapple, both. Mmm. It's quite good. Uh-oh. Anyanas. We're trying to make a semi-decent cheese platter for lunch, but one of our cheeses somehow morphed into its cheese wrapper. So the paper like sogged into it? Yeah. Because of all the melted ice, probably? Like, look at the... What the fuck? I mean, the cheese also has a coating on it, but like... <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, uh, they're just spoons. Shit. How are we gonna cut the cheese? Oh, fuck. We're just gonna waste a lot of cheese by doing this. Did you look up pineapple in Spanish? Mm -hmm. Hey Siri, how do you say pineapple in Spanish? In Spanish, pineapple is piña. Piña colada. Oh, duh. We're stupid as fuck. <laughs> Sorry, Bianca. This one's good. The Gouda? Yeah. Like, have your peanut bus. Light lunch. I don't know, all the signs say light lunch. I didn't see that. In Italy, like normally you have a light breakfast. It's like a coffee and a like a cookie, and then you get like a really good lunch, Franza, and then like you wait until really late at night, and then have Chena, Chena, Chena. But like that's why they eat so different. So I wonder like what's the difference between here and that? <laughs> Jabuka, Jabuka. Oh my god, these homemade pizza. Ooh yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Work time. for five hours when Hunter started working. When instead I could have went out, got some drinks, you know, had my hot boy summer European moment. We're gonna take the stairs and be somewhat fit. I could have went to the gym before my European hot boy summer moment. I guess I still could go to the gym because it's open 24 hours. Look how pretty. But instead of doing all that, I took a nap. But it was, it was so nice, I won't lie. Very nice nap. Like I said earlier, Hunter has to work till 11. It's eight o'clock, so I'm going to get dinner. I'm going to get the pizza that we had the very first night because it was so incredibly good and it's just easy and I can bring it back up. So I'm gonna go get some pizza and drinks to go. I didn't feel jet lag, or I didn't think I was, but maybe I am, because I've taken a nap every single day, which is rare. I have my kuno with me. Let's go. <laughs> I almost just got attacked by a biker. Here we are. Uh, could I possibly get an order to go? A Hawaiian pizza and then a margarita pizza? I think I'm gonna get the Blue Lagoon again. Maybe I should try something new.
I'm back at this EDM restaurant bar, and I think that I could just live here. Yes. That is so hot. I'm sweating. It's a vibe though. It's definitely not as fun in the to-go cups as in the glasses. It's so good though. How am I going to carry both of these with two pizzas? I don't know. Kind of scary. As I'm waiting for my pizzas, I cannot help but vibe. I'm having a great time. My drink is in fact almost gone already. Gone. I know that's right, bitch. But now I'm also sad because it's gone. Yes, sir. So sexy. Let's go. Tomorrow we're taking a trip to Montenegro. <laughs> Our driver was supposed to pick us up at eight. That's fun. We got a call exactly seven saying the driver's here. So now we're rushing to get ready. I say as I'm sitting down. <laughs> So we're getting ready now to go on a two hour drive. Fun, right? Don't know how I feel about this. I like that. I really need to get this off because I need to wear these sunglasses today. I need scissors though. Probably. You know what? We might just have to wear our old sunglasses today. So sorry. I also don't know where my chapstick is, and I'm gonna need it. I have no clue really what we're doing today. Um, all I know is that a driver is driving us two hours to a different country. We're leaving the country today. This sock is... <laughs> Ew. <sighs> ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel bad that he's here already, but like, online it says 9, I asked for 7, and then things came back all saying 8 o'clock, so I thought it was like a compromise. Yeah. I'm assuming that's our driver? Yeah. So we just need our passports, right? Yes. Probably 12, yeah? Depends how much you want to walk, you know? We probably won't walk all the way to the top. Not easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do 12.30 just to be safe. Okay, 12.30, uh, then I will come here also. Okay, okay. right at the spot? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. We'll see you at 12.30. Yes, yeah. So do you think our driver just explores and waits until we're done? I think he probably is going to go take a nap in his car. Oh, I would do that too. 
We have a few hours in this little town in Montenegro to do whatever we please. Um, let's go. Okay, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but there's a casino inside. Hunter decides that he wants to go to a casino that he found on his maps. <laughs> I did see a sign for that. Is that why we're here? Yeah. How far? Is, is that a cruise ship? Yeah. We have a thousand dollars in tuna. And it's not tuna here? No. Is it just euros? Yeah. So we need to find a currency exchange. I'm sure the casino doesn't, but I'm sure they charge a fuck ton. Oh, yeah. Yes, T-Mobile. I'm in the supermarket. <laughs> then we can come back in through this gate. We have arrived. Somewhere. We finally get to this casino. And it's just hidden away in some back corner behind a supermarket and God knows what else. This casino is inside of a little hotel and consists of like seven round slot machines in this little red carpeted casino room. There was a waitress, she gave us two glasses of Fanta. It was honestly a great time. And the way Hunter gambles, it didn't last very long. Oh, thank God something happened there. You just lost it all already. I began to gamble with my last 100 euros as Hunter goes to the ATM to get God knows how many more. I want something. Yes. Not good. Okay. Wait, I just won 10,000. So you took 600 out total? Yes, we're that 600 if you don't win anything. Awesome. Gamble it. What if I lose it though? <laughs> well, thank you. Thanks. Well, $600 was just lost in oh, wow. less than 10 minutes. It was fun though. Yeah. <laughs> I saved $50 so we could eat. Oh, that's good. So $600 for a Fanta. Pretty expensive, wasn't it? Like, people tried to invade it, but they couldn't get in. I just, like, try to imagine, like, people in the little 1400s, like, mashing these stones together to, like, somehow make a giant building like this. Yeah. Like, what? What is that? I don't know if I've ever seen gnocchi with white sauce before. Is it good? It kind of just tastes like mac and cheese though. Giant lamb. As we're walking through this old little city, I find what I've been looking for in one of these little shops. The exact waterproof phone bag that I've been wanting. Finally. It's getting close to 12.30, so we start to walk back to where our driver dropped us off. Hi. Once again, it is incredibly hot outside. Uh, a major splash right now. Hot outside. Very hot outside. Oh, you brought a water, didn't you? Yeah, I got two. You want We're just 
just drastically waiting in the sun. The minutes are going by as slow as they possibly could. Driver, where are you? I miss you. Oh, it's them? Is it? I think. <laughs> right? No, no. My asshole is just drenched. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yay! Thank God. Very hot out. Yeah, I do. Our driver continues our tour, and we end up in this long driveway type of parking lot. And instead of maneuvering his way around to drive forward, he, he just puts it in reverse. He's just tomatering this shit in this skinny little driveway all the way to the destination. Our driver then gets out of the car and meets up with this man and they're communicating as me and Hunter are just sitting in the back of the car. Hopefully our driver knows what's going on because I sure as hell don't. We find out that this man that our driver's talking to is connecting with the guy who's taking us on a little boat ride from island to island. Our driver takes off and me and Hunter are just waiting here with this random man. <laughs> Me neither. When our boat guy finally comes, he's wearing a Canada Speedo. Uh, Canada. We immediately knew that this was going to be a good time. Yeah, 20 is good. And then we come back right here. Yeah. Thank you. We got 20 minutes to explore this new little island. picked us back up as well as some others and took us across to another dock where our driver was waiting for us. I'm definitely in one of those situations right now where I'm like, I have no idea how the hell I got here. I'm not too mad about it though. We just took another four hour nap. Now we're going to dinner. Hopefully. Everything will still be open. We had a fun day. Hot, sweaty. 
tiring day. We also got stuck in between two countries for an hour. I, I was sleeping. I fell asleep on the car ride home. I didn't, because and we were with a stranger. My camera card was full, and my phone was dead. Yeah, we left Montenegro, and like they had a border thing that where they stamped you out of the EU, and there was like a mile stretch where... Yeah, we hit through the first border really easily, and then... And we got to the Croatian border, and it was closed for an hour. Yeah, he fell asleep, and it's like, we literally were with this random stranger all day through like a different country in the middle of nice. Eastern Europe. And he's like, I'm just gonna take a nap. No. Well, you were there. That's how people go missing. He would not have kidnapped us. He sounded like Gru from The Spiggable Me. <laughs> he was great. He helped somebody scam us today for 40 euros for a boat ride. He did. We paid $50 that to go see a rock. I don't know if that was intentional. Though. I don't think that we're supposed to pay for that. In addition. Because <laughs> it's part of the tour. Hunter has on his new H&M shorts. Shirts from H&M. Like no, the one that I got? Urban. Urban and H&M, wow. The shoes are definitely not H&M. <laughs> Tonight we're going to try out one of the restaurants across from the mall that we haven't tried yet. We're branching out. me leaving and then almost forgetting my tote bag that you can get at www.mwadashop. <laughs> Thank you. 